Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and frogs, my name is Darius P. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. We have some new story details to get into Reptile Havoc. And I know her name is Ashra, but I'm going to keep calling her Ashra because I like that name better. First, let's get into the Zetteran Slave Reptile. Of course, let's make this bigger. Not you, Havoc, not just yet. Okay, Reptile, you know there are some things missing down here. You guys can't see my mouse, but there's things missing down here. Reptile is Zetteran, one of the reptilioid, did I say that right? Reptilioid race or reptiloid? I'm gonna say rep, there's, there's no, okay, reptilioid race, which lives on Outworld's fringes. Like other reptiles, veterans can camouflage themselves, but reptile possesses a unique mutation, which allows him to shift shape to appear human. Bullied mercilessly, mercilessly, right? By veterans for a disability, reptile left home to make his future elsewhere. Reptile could have left, could have led you veterans out of the fringes of Outworld, but nah, yeah, I want to be bullies. He could have did some things with y'all, right? He could have snuck y'all into some, well, probably not y'all, but he could have, he could have did some, well, he did say veteran slave also, right? But I believe he could have did some things to lead y'all to a better life, but no, nah, it would have been some illegal things, right? Some bad things, but Nah, y'all wanted to bully the man. Now he's out of there. Who knows what y'all could have been. Now Havoc. Just looking at Havoc, you know he's up to no good. I mean, he just look at his face. Look at these on well. He probably did. He probably didn't do that to himself. So, you know. Rebellious Anarchist. A citizen of the realm of Sado, or is it Sido? We gonna say Sido. Havoc is sworn to take down its oppressive regime and free his people. Their order is prized above all else. So you get out of order, you get in trouble. Law breaking is met with strict punishment. I mean, I'm kind of I'm on both sides of that. Breaking, if the law that you broke needs a strict punishment, then you need strict punishment. But if a little kid stole some candy out of a candy store, out of a gas station, spank him on the hand and let it be over with. You don't need that little boy in the, in the labor camp. It, citizens live in strictly regulated uh, cast. DSP, your reading is on the three today. As a member of Cito's lowest caste, Havoc had neither rights nor no rights, no privileges. You know he's brave. He was just stealing food. He's hungry. He's hungry. That was it. When he is brutally punished for a minor, a minor crime, that's what I'm talking about. He stole a loaf of bread for his little sister. She was hungry. He's 14, she's 10. She wasn't gonna, well, maybe she was there with him. Maybe she was there with him and they took his face off. <laughs> Punishment, right? And she saw it and she will, she will not do anything. I don't even know if you have a little sister. Okay, where was I? Havoc finally decides to act. He sets out to destroy Cito's regime and replace it with an anarchist utopia. I don't know if that's the best thing, but I guess if like for like petty small, I'm I'm really for the thing. If you if it wasn't a violent crime, right? If you didn't hurt anybody, right? Or you didn't intend, well, not intend to hurt anybody. If you didn't hurt anybody, or you didn't put other people in danger to be hurt, yeah, we don't. There's no need to be locking those people up, right? Once he breaks Cito's social order, 
Heaven will free its citizens. Together, they will live in blessed anarchy. See, I don't, anarchy is not the way. <laughs> anarchy is not the way to be living in my, it, it's just not. You can have a civil, a civilized uh, environment, right? Without super strict punishment. Like, you know, the, you know the ones, the ones where you're hurting people, lock them up. But the ones where which nobody was injured or nobody was put in a position to be injured, like you like if you're robbing the bank but nobody got hurt, yeah, you had weapons, so yeah, you got to get locked up, my guy. But if you did a credit card scam, like just find them people, like find them a lot of money, take their driver license away, take their voting rights away, like stuff like that take their insurance away. Like, you gotta do other stuff. But, you know, that's for another. Repentant Netherrealm Demon. Opera. As a demon, Afra knew, all Afra knew was pain and violence. She assumed all beings and all realms live as she did. Hmm. A lot of people in the world think that everybody lives the way that they live. You guys got to get out. But once she journeyed outside of sea, that's what I mean. And once she journeyed outside of another realm, she realized her error. Other realms were places of beauty and peace. There are a lot of places like this. Also, a lot of places of beauty and peace have no idea that a lot of other places are full of pain and violence, right? She could not aid in their def defilement. Ashra fled from her sister demon. Serena gonna get you. Along the way, she found an enchanted Chris. It was a demon slayer, which she used to finish her pursuers. Woo! You demons coming after Ashra? No. She's done living that way, right? She was stunned to discover that using the Chris to destroy evil was purifying her soul. She was undemonized. And that if she continued to do so, she could free herself from the nether realm. Astra senses that her final absolution is near. Once achieved, she will finally enter the light. See? She's such... That's who needs to talk to Havoc. Yo, I mean, now, nah, that whole... I mean, I get what Havoc is doing. I, I get what he's doing. Like, the world that he grew up in is way too harsh for small, petty crimes. He probably stole some candy or a cookie out of a cookie jar in a supermarket or something. And they saw it and look at him now. <laughs> look at him now. His neck is also scarred up too. So it wasn't just his face. I mean, they did my guy wrong. You know he didn't go to prom, right? You know he didn't go to prom looking like that. Or maybe this was after he was already grown. Who knows? But it was definitely... And now he's going about it the wrong... I mean, you got... You definitely need to go in there and change the leadership, right? That definitely has... That definitely has to happen. There's a country over there. Whoo! Oh, all the way over there that somebody needs to go in and change that, re that leadership, right? That's all Havoc is trying to do. Go in there, change the leadership. But living in anarchy is not the way. You still need laws and rules to make sure that your place of living does not become a wasteland, right? You don't want that. You don't want the wild, wild west where you're living at. That is not what you want. So... Uh, oh, ba <laughs> banished trailer. <laughs> That's what they call it. The I was just thinking about that. That's what they call it, the banished trailer. Reptile, he can change to this. He can change to this form. And people was like, you're too different. Instead of trying to allow him to, you know, spy on humans, Right? That's what I would have did if I'm one of the reptilians. Have him spy on humans and see how we can get up out of this out of the fringes, right? That would have worked. My man's here. I agree. 
remove the leadership. I don't know if by any means necessary, but they do need to be removed. And then, you know, place yourself at the top or somebody that you think should be at the top. This face is probably going to keep you from being there at the top, you know. And then set rules and fair punishments. Fair punishments. And don't turn your city into the wild, wild west, right? And then Astra, she's doing it right. She's the only one doing it. I mean, yeah, Reptile I guess is doing it right. He just left to find his own way, right? Havoc is, he has the right intentions, but the end is not going to be good. Astra, she flipped her script all the way, and now she's living right. <laughs> or at least trying to, right? I love it. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video and would like to watch another one right now, you can do so by clicking on any one of the four boxes that you see on your screen right now. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video.